Welcome back to Media Mesh, where I give you my unapologetic opinion on everything from music, movies, news, reality, TV, and much more as we go down the rabbit hole, all in five minutes or less. Now, as you can see, cooking chicken in NyQuil is very unsafe, uh, says the FDA. I don't know that we need the FDA to come on and tell the kids that, but... You know, I'm sure there's some parents sitting around somewhere like, you know what? I can't get them to cook regular chicken, much less sleepy chicken. So how it works is that basically you put NyQuil in the chicken and apparently it's going to get you uh, some type of a buzz. It's, if for nothing less, it's going to make you get sleepy. So I guess you're killing two birds with one stone. You're eating and sometimes you eat a lot, you get the itis. But now you definitely get to pass out. But yeah, apparently uh, this video has garnered over 1.3 million views on TikTok. And it's amazing what's shown to those of us in the United States. What our kids get to see is completely different from those in China and Japan and other places. So the algorithm is set to bring different cultures, different things. And we keep getting bombarded with the foolishness here. And so with our kids spending so much time on social media, some kids out there are probably going to try it out of curiosity. And that must be the case because obviously the FDA is now speaking out against it and letting the parents know to watch your children. But that would never be an issue in my house, because if you take some chicken that I bought and you going to throw some NyQuil on it, we got a problem. Right. That's not happening. So it's just so crazy. The different things that's taking place in these different fads that our children are being exposed to. Everyone does not have a strong mental. Right. So some of these kids are out there doing it. And who God knows what it tastes like. But you can you know, imagine that this is not going to do anything good for you. And they say even just smelling it, inhaling it, cooking those uh, cooking a medicine at those levels is going to impact your lungs negatively. So, I mean, I don't know what's next. You know, I think we really have to start monitoring what our young folks are doing on these phones. Like, do you read books? I remember I used to, you know, kind of force mine to read books back in the day. Uh, but you have to break it up, especially in the summertime. You know, you're sitting around and a lot of parents just... You know, let the kids just hang on the phone. Now, granted, there is a lot of information out there, but there's also information overload because it's just like a lot of people have information, but you don't know how to process it. You don't know what to do with it. So sometimes you need to digest what it is that you have received. What does it mean to you? How does it make a difference in your life? And then move forward. And sometimes you just need to turn it off. Have a moment of silence with yourself. So hopefully, you know, this gets uh, rectified pretty soon. But yeah, no sleepy chicken for me. All right. Until next time, y'all be blessed. Please like, share and subscribe.